Hello friends, we are Sonar Templar by Fang Company Solutions of Lead Coding till we get there. Today we are going to do longest palindromic substring lead code problem and if we see some of the companies where I want to get a job who have already asked this question, there are companies like Amazon, Microsoft, Google, Adobe, Apple, Bloomberg, Goldman Sachs, TikTok, Uber, ByteDance, LinkedIn, Tesla and eBay. So that's why I am paying my utmost attention. I hope you also enjoy the video. This is a lead code medium problem and also one of the very well liked problems on lead code. Uh, basically, we are given a string S and we need to return the longest palindromic substring that is present inside this original given string S. So in order to understand this problem, first of all, we will have to identify that what is a palindromic string and a palindromic string is basically as the name suggests any string that forms a palindrome and we know that palindrome is any string where if you read it from left to right or right to left, uh, the number of sequence is uh, same so in this case a b a is actually an example of a palindromic string also a b b a is also an example of palindromic string because in either of these two cases whatever you whatever side you decide to move along the number of uh, character occurrences remains the same so that's why they are palindrome and now our aim is to find the longest palindromic substring inside this given original string s this is not a very good example to understand so let me create a custom example in this case we need to find that what is the longest palindromic substring so if we see the string s by itself it's actually not a palindrome but if we see these three values a b a and we get rid of this b and d we can actually create a palindrome which means in this case uh, we can return the answer as a b a to be longest palindromic substring that is present inside this given string s and this is exactly what we need to return so now let's see that what would be the different approaches to solve this problem in order to understand the brute force way, we will have to identify that what is the thing we need. We need the longest palindromic substring that is present inside this original given string S. So the aim is that we need to find a substring. Uh, so why don't we just use the brute force method and we find every single possible substring that we can make out of this given example S. So we can make bunch of different substrings. Let me just draw some substrings over here. So these are some of the substrings that we are able to generate from this original given string S. Now our aim is to find that what is the palindromic substring. If the substring is palindromic, we will find its length and then we will try to find the longest palindromic substring in that way. So uh, we can clearly see that in this case, this ABA is going to be the answer for this longest palindromic substring. And eventually we would be able to find the solution using the brute force method. But what is the issue with this? Like issue is actually pretty evident that even for this four character string, we will we actually had to create bunch of different substrings and out of all of the, those substrings we will have to find some effort and resources to find that what is the longest palindromic substring so that is just waste of time and uh, energy if we see the time complexity in this case the time complexity is actually going to be big o of n cube why m cube because it takes n square time just to create these substrings and after doing that we will also have to identify that whether those given strings are actually palindromic substrings or not and which is the longest amongst all of them so that also takes n time so that's why the overall we can write the, it as big o of n cube time complexity so let's see that what would be the better approach to solve this problem well, before we come to the optimal solution, first let's build some intuition behind achieving that optimal solution. Uh, the idea is that we need to find the longest palindromic substring. Now there are two possibilities. We could have an odd number of string that is a palindrome or we could have an even number of string that is actually a palindrome. Now in each cases, the middle value is actually providing some interesting results. And the thing is that in both the cases, the palindromes are actually built around these middle values. How? Let me quickly show it to you. Well, if we just take this madam for an example, uh, over here, we can actually conclude this D to be a substring in its own. And, and because this is a single character substring, we can actually conclude this to be a palindrome as well. Uh, because if we read from this left direction or right direction, in each cases, we are going to get the same result. Now, if we add these two A's, uh, to this D, we will also get the substring that looks like this A, D, A. Now, in each cases, this D remains common, but the left value and the right value, because they both are same, we can conclude, conclude this string to be a palindrome as well. Now, again, if we repeat the same process and we add this M and M, again, because they both are same and we are adding at the corners. So, if we add them, we will get a value that looks like this. Now, this D originally was a palindrome. After adding this AA, it remained palindrome because both character had the same value. 
and again after adding this mm again it the whole thing remained the palindrome because they both had the same value now in this case if i extend and if i add a value that looks like x and y over here so this x and y is actually not same so this whole thing will not be a palindrome but this middle portion will actually be a palindrome and in this case because we had odd number of characters that are forming a character uh, we actually have just one value that we can consider as middle value and all the other values from this middle value uh, are actually just a bunch of set of characters they who both have same same values let's take an example for this even number case now in this case actually we have two middle values and the two middle values are bb now if we were to consider this bb this is actually a palindrome in itself because again by definition even if we go from left or right in each cases we are reading the same value now again this a a both are same value and they are actually same value that is corners our original given middle uh, values so if we form a value that looks like this this b b was already a palindrome and the two values we added they are also same so because they are same this whole thing actually becomes a palindrome and again just like this case if we add an x and y over here this whole thing will not be a palindrome only this a b b a would remain palindrome so now after knowing this solution actually it becomes really easy for us to identify that what would be the optimal solution Suppose this is the example that we are given and we are trying to find the optimal solution for that. So what we are going to do is we are actually going to expand on the corners and we are trying to see that whether the left and right value of any middle value if they are actually same or not. If they are same we can consider the whole part to be part of any palindrome. If they are not same then we will move on to the next value and start doing the same process. Now there could be two possibilities. We could have an odd length palindrome where we will only have one middle value or we could have an even length palindrome where we will actually have two middle values. So in each cases we will have to take care of them. So I will be showing you the odd example first and then I will show you the even example. And uh, basically it's slightly different idea and uh, I'll just show you when we when we go there. So first of all, uh, we are going to take this value x. Now we are going to expand upon the corners. Uh, so we are going to see that whether this x could be the middle of a longest palindromic substring. If that is the case, then we will expand upon this x. So we will try to see its left value and right value. The left value is actually null and right value is actually m. Now uh, this left and right they are not same and also this middle value is actually not same with this right value and it's also not same with this left value which means in each cases this x is actually not part of the middle of longest palindromic substring so we will get rid of it and we will move on to the next value now we are at this value number m again we try to see the what is the left and right value left is actually x right is actually a again they both are not same and none of them are same with this m so which means that now we will move on to the next value next value is actually a again the left value is m right value is d nothing is same so we will move on to the next value because this is also not a part of the palindrome now we are at this position number d now if we take the left and right value the left value is actually a and the right value is also actually a so because this left and right value is same this d could be a middle of any palindrome we don't know if it is the longest palindromic substring or not now the longest palindromic substring that we have found so far is actually of length one why length one because any character in itself is also a palindrome remember that so that's why now we have this new substring that looks like this a b a this is also a palindrome and we will try to see that whether it is longer than whatever the existing palindrome we have which is true that this a b a is actually longer so we will have to update the value of this a b over here uh, saying that this is the longest palindrome we have found so far we will keep on expanding on its corner so so far the values we have is a b a again we will move on the left and right pointer so uh, this is m and this is also m so because they both are same again we can consider this to be a palindrome and the previous uh, longest palindromic substring we had was a b a but this is actually greater than that so we'll update its value and now the longest palindromic substring we have found so far is madam m a d a m now again we will go and uh, repeat the same process repeat the same process over here we will have the value y and over here we will have the value x so these two are not same so because these two are not same now we are no longer forming a palindrome so we will have to get out of it so we will just move on to the next value and if we move on to the next value the next value is actually a so again this a 
the left values d and right values m so this is not a palindrome we will uh, go back to m m is also not part of any middle of uh, any palindrome and this y is also not part of any middle of the palindrome so now we are done for our example so far and in this case whatever the answer we have found over here for the longest palindromic substring which is m a d a m we will return this as our answer and this solution would work, work as expected now this was the case of odd number of palindrome that be that is being the longest let's see the even number of palindrome so in this case again we are going to repeat the same process first of all we will take this x we take the left and right value again we don't find anything interesting so we'll move on to the next value now next value is a again we check left and again we check right uh, we don't find anything right uh, because so we'll move on to the next value now again we are at this position number b now we are at this position number b if we check the left value we find a but if we check the right value we actually find another b so because these two are same actually the combination of these two b's could be the middle of uh, the longest palindromic substring and that that is going to be true in this case so we are going to expand on a little bit differently now now we are going to have this bb as the middle of the longest palindromic substring we have found so far and we will repeat the same process so we will try to find that whether what are the left and right values so left value is a and right value is also a so again this is a b b a because these two are same and this middle portion we are just consider it to be the middle so this is also forming a palindrome and the longest palindromic substring we had so far was only of length 1 and then when we found this b b it become of length 2 and now we have this a b b a so this is of length 4 so because this is of length 4 we will have to update the longest palindromic substring we have found so far to be a b b a now again we will repeat the same process so if we again go left and right this is actually x and this is y so now these two are not same because these two are not same so now we will just get out of it we will again check with this a and y we don't find any palindrome and we would be done with this one so in this case we would return this a b b a as part of our answer and that would be the final solution so the time complexity in this case is actually going to be big o of n square now why n square because uh, we will have to iterate over every single value to see that whether that is the middle of the longest palindromic substring or not that takes uh, n time and if we will have to iterate over all the values on the left and right side to see that whether it's the longest palindromic substring or not uh, which means that in the worst case scenario we might have to iterate over n square times to find the answer uh, in terms of space complexity we might have to keep track of big o of n characters at any given moment where n is the number of characters present inside the string now this is actually a much bigger improvement compared to our brute force approach which had the time complexity of big o of n cube actually and now let's move on to the coding first of all we are going to check some edge cases if that is not the case, we are going to run a for loop across the given string. For the any value we are iterating over, we don't know that whether it is the middle of the longest palindromic substring of an even length or of an add odd length. So at any given time, we are actually going to have two variables that call a function where we are going to check that whether the odd length or even length palindromic substring can it be the middle of any palindrome and uh, so first I'll create two variables and we'll name it as len1 and len2 and we are going to call a function called check palindrome inside this function we are going to provide the value of given string s current position of i and we are considering this to be an odd length so that's why we are considering i to be the middle element also we are going to create a variable called length2 so we are again going to call the check palindrome function we are providing the value of string s we are also providing the value of i and we are also providing the value of i plus one uh, y plus one because remember that in the even length palindrome we actually have two middle entries and that is how we are going to do it and also we are going to have a variable called length where we are going to keep track of the maximum length of palindrome we have found so far remember that uh, amongst these len1 and len2 at any given moment if we identify that there exists some valid pal palindrome and we have found the maximum value we might have to update the value of the maximum variable so we are going to uh, check for that condition as well for that we actually need two pointers called left and right and we are going to check that whether the given length we are getting if that is greater than the left and right length we have already found so far the thing is we haven't declared these variables yet so first of all let me quickly declare these variables and we are going to initialize their values as zero we are going to update the value of the left pointer 
uh, and that will be decided based on the value of i so we are going to do i minus whatever the value of uh, current length we have found we need to do it divide by 2 the thing is we don't know that whether that uh, length is odd or even so we will subtract it by one value and then we will divide it by two so in any case we will get the correct result for the left pointer and for the right pointer we are actually going to do i plus whatever the length we have found uh, divided by two and this should give us left and right pointer to create the desired substring and after uh, we, uh, we run out of the loop we will simply return the substring so now we are done with uh, most of the logic in the main uh, method now we will just have to create this check palindrome method so let's assign the value l and r uh, for the ease of our use now we are going to run a while loop that until the point when we have a valid palindrome we will keep on reducing the value of left and updating the value of right and we will check that whether both values are same or not we will also take care of some edge cases while the existing value is a valid palindrome we will reduce the value of left pointer and we will update the value of right pointer this while loop we will return the whatever the length we have found so far this should do it let's try to run this code we will have to update the value of this right pointer by one let's try to run the code again okay seems like our solution is working let's submit the code and our code works as expected i'll be posting this in the comments so you can check it out from there thank you